Tonight we are dining at Jico here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge and we've actually been here before so tonight our dining review is actually going to be a little bit different. They are doing a special limited time Lion King menu to celebrate the circle of life because of the new Lion King movie coming out this summer. And this menu actually started today, June 30th, and it's just for a limited time. They actually don't have a date set as when the end is. But we're really excited to try it. It's actually a pre-fixed menu. It's $65 a person, and you get appetizer, entree, and dessert. The options sounded amazing, so I'm really excited. All right, so tonight for the bread service, they have a sweet potato roll with a maple cinnamon butter. Uh, they look really good. It smells pretty good. I'm getting a little bit of saltiness in there and a nice uh, sweetness from the butter. It's good. The reason that these are sweet potatoes is because in Africa, um, yams and sweet potatoes and basically more root vegetables are what they use. So um, it just kind of makes it a little bit more of like an authentic feel here at Jigo. And they're good. The only thing about these is that because they are sweet potato, they do tend to be a little bit more dry um, than like what a standard bread would be, but it's still not bad. I like it. It's very good. And I almost forgot to mention that the butter here would be on a five because it's whipped. So it's pretty easy to spread, which is really nice. Don't have to worry about heating it up or ripping apart your bread. Just, just, you just grab it and spread it. So they just brought out the appetizer and for this prefixed menu, it's actually the same appetizer for everybody if you order that prefixed menu. And then you have a choice of two entrees. So this appetizer, when they brought it out to the table, oh my gosh, I could just smell it. It's, oh my gosh, amazing. This is very different than anything that we typically eat. This is actually malata. It's young Cedar Creek clams, new potatoes, pomegranate, and bone marrow. The bone marrow is the part that is very different, but we're excited to try it. It looks delicious. So for the appetizer, which was bone marrow, I was actually really surprised. Anytime there's a prefix menu, I'm always a little afraid that like portion sizes are not going to be very large. But this was actually, like, I was shocked. This was actually like a small meal, which is basically what an appetizer is. I, know, I understand that, but, um, but there was a lot there. The clams were really nice. And then the bone marrow, which I thought maybe that it had been seasoned. I've had bone marrow before, it was on the Disney Cruise Line, but uh, I thought maybe it had something else in there, but it was really just salt and pepper and it was done so well. Um, if you don't know, bone marrow is almost like, um, it's almost like a butter whenever it's like rendered down and cooked. And it is, uh, it's phenomenal. So good, nice and rich. And I would definitely recommend uh, anybody out there to try it yourself, because uh, it is good. So before I talk about the appetizer, tonight something that's a little bit different than a typical night here at Jico. They actually have two guys walking around and they're singing softly and playing a little guitar. They have a drum with them. It's actually kind of nice. But anyway, that appetizer, besides how amazing it smelled, the plating was beautiful. And not only was it beautiful and did it smell amazing, it tasted so good. That's actually the first time I've ever had bone marrow and it was so good. And like Josh said, it was literally just seasoned with salt and pepper. Like that's how flavorful it is itself. There was a nice sauce that came along with the clams that were around the plate. It had some garlic, some lemon, some butter. Really good, nice and tender clams. And there was a nice contrast of texture with the carrots and the pomegranate in there. Overall, wonderful appetizer. Let me just say, Jico has never disappointed. This is the third time we've eaten here. We ate here first on our honeymoon, we ate here for our anniversary one year, and then tonight. And it has been amazing. Josh and I were just talking before we picked up the camera how this has been an exceptional meal. So for my entree, I got the boneyard. This is a bone-in ribeye with hibiscus, nettles, and fragula. This steak was huge and it does have the bone in it so it adds a lot of extra flavor whenever they cook it it basically was just seasoned with salt and pepper but oh my gosh was it amazing the way that it was charred and oh my gosh the fat was just so tender i normally don't like fat on my steak at all that's why i normally get like filet I ate the fat in this steak because it just melted. It was so good. The side that came with it was really good as well. There was some wilted spinach in there and the vegetables, there were some root vegetables on there. Everything was amazing. Fantastic dish. 
and I actually had a little bite off of Josh's plate. <laughs> it was really good too. For my dish, I had a seafood curry and the main draw of that dish was a huge lobster tail. And I don't like lobster really like at all. Like never cared for it, don't really want to eat it. And being that they only had two entrees here, I knew Taylor was gonna get steak. So I didn't want to get the same thing. I figured I'd try something else and I thought, you know, I'll let Taylor eat the lobster. The way that the curry was made and the mix within like all of the mussels and the calamari and the shrimp, and then you had some nice like sweet like tomatoes in there. It added this like really crazy, super good flavor to the lobster. And I actually like ate the whole thing, aside from Taylor trying to steal a few pieces of my lobster. But we were actually kind of like, you know, dueling with knives and forks over my lobster. It was really good. Taylor was actually saying about how this place has never like let us down or anything like that. And it hasn't. I mean, this is a, it's a signature restaurant. So they do have a high standard to maintain. Um, and they always come through on doing that. So uh, presentation was awesome and flavor was just so good. I mean, I, I don't think you can ever go wrong with a nice curry dish. It's not hot and it has like a nice little bit of sweetness in it. So it was really good. I would definitely come back and eat it again and I would recommend everybody out there to try it as well. The dessert has arrived and it is so cute. So this dessert is the jungle strut. It's basically an eclair cut in half and then it has a burnt honey ganache and a chocolate custard. And then there's like some orange on there. There's some what they're calling foliage on the bottom so that it kind of looks like it's outside and it's like a sunset. And then there's a white chocolate piece up on the top and it's decorated and it looks like Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa on there. I'm excited to try it though. So the dessert here was really good. A nice combination of textures and of flavors. The almost crunchiness of the eclair balances really well with the chocolate custard. To add all that together, it's not a super sweet dish either, which is really nice because I'm not a huge fan of like super sweet stuff. But then they also add what I think is um, papaya or guava that's been blended on the bottom of the dish. Just, right, just a really thin layer underneath the entire dessert. And that actually makes it feel a little bit more light and adds a little bit of like a citrusy sourness to the dish. And I like that. It really makes it pop. It's very good. I also am not a fan of eclairs at all. So I was really worried I wasn't actually gonna like this dish at all, but it was good and I enjoyed it. I've eaten almost all of it. So to finish off the meal, we have got some passion fruit gelée in the shape of little lions <laughs> in celebration of the Lion King. It's actually really good and I like the little bit of sugar on the outside. I like it. And as a little parting gift, we got some African tea in here. Josh will love to try that because he loves tea along with his coffee. All right, so we just finished eating downstairs at Jico here at the Jumbo House of Animal Kingdom Lodge. Mm -hmm. And uh, fantastic meal Amazing. once again. The meal was so good. We made that last like a good two hours when with a prefixed meal, yeah. that definitely didn't need to be a two hour meal because- It hasn't been two hours, has it? It's two seven. hours. Oh, I yeah, guess it is seven. Two hours. That's crazy. It was really good though. I mean, limited options obviously on the prefix menu. Yeah. On all prefix menus that usually is the case, but I still think that the options were well worth the $65. Oh my gosh. That was a huge portion of bone marrow, I thought, along oh with the clams that came with it. And then the entrees, my ribeye was huge. And yeah, then Josh had a full piece of lobster in his curry and all that yeah. seafood. I mean, I didn't, I mean, I made sure to eat all of the seafood that was in there and I didn't even finish all of the rice. There was a lot of rice it in there. It was a huge bowl. I mean, oh, it, it was, was a huge. huge serving of food. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the dessert, I mean, I was really worried about it, but it came through, I it was, was great. too, because neither one of us actually like eclairs at all or cream puffs or anything like that, because mm -hmm. that's that, it's that pat of shoe dough. But this dessert, the way it was made, all the different textures in there, it actually worked really nice together. It did, yeah. 
It was great. We actually asked the server to see how long they're going to be doing this for. There wasn't a, like an actual end date, yeah. um, but it is supposed to be going to about September. So if yeah, you're going to be down it, here, you'll have an opportunity in the next couple months, I guess. They said at least through to the end of the summer, probably until September. Yeah. So. so not a ton of time to come down and try it, but if you're coming to be here in the next few months, maybe if you're down here, definitely I recommend you to come down here and try, just try it out. Chico is... Um, it's, it's like in the top five restaurants. Oh yeah, even if you don't want to do the prefix menu, yeah. everything else they have to offer is amazing. Now with some of the dishes at Jico, I do think you need to be a little bit adventurous, especially with like the bone marrow and then some of the seasonings like in the curry and that sort of thing. Yeah. But I mean- It's African inspired, so. It is, but they definitely have something for everybody there. Yeah. It's really good. So let us know, have you ever tried Jico for dinner? And let us know if you're gonna come try this new Lion King inspired menu.